Hey, good morning, my YouTube family. This is your host, Aaron, here. This is Times with the Narcissist Explained. All right, today we have a hot topic. We're going to talk about the narcissist want ill gotten gains. All right, the narcissist want ill gotten gains. All right, so let me pull up a few scriptures for you all, real quick. All right, we're going to talk about uh, Proverbs chapter 10 verse 2 it says treasures gained by wickedness do not profit but righteousness delivers from death all right so those of you who are wondering what ill-gotten gains is um pretty much doing unrighteous works of wickedness to have uh money things or property you know a good example is um stealing you know, let's say somebody broke into your house, stole a PS4 or PS5 from you. Or somebody broke into your house and took precious jewelry from you. That's ill-gotten gains. Another form of ill-gotten gains is um, selling drugs. Selling drugs in the community. That's ill-gotten gains because that stuff that we give to the people is poison. You know, and me personally, I have did it a little bit before. I've been in the so-called drug game before just to try to fit in see what it was about i tried it for a little while and that is a reckless lifestyle because not only the money that you make you have to put it back into investing more into the lifestyle but a lot of times you're paranoid you got other drug dealers in the area they figure that you you sell work now you're competition to them. It happens all the time where like drug dealers get into like gang wars with each other because uh, it's a fight for supremacy. Who's the better drug dealer? Nah, we can't have you taking all my clientele. We can't have that. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about ill-gotten gains is, right, is that nobody ever becomes rich off of ill-gotten gains. You don't become rich from stealing. You don't become rich from selling drugs. You don't become rich from scamming. Scamming is another form of ill-gotten gains. One of the scams I want to talk to you all about is this thing called cash flips. Oh, if you if you put in $150, you'll get $2,500. And it's a cash app type thing. That's why me personally, I don't do cash app because a lot of times, you know, it's scammers on cash app, man. And a lot of times they'll be on social media presenting themselves as these... Uh, investment firm hey you invest in us we can give you back such and such listen y'all do not fall for that please do not fall for that i'm a top, i was i fell victim to a few scams in my life but because of that i was i'm able to tell you all another uh another scam that i want you all to watch out for is like these uh school grants scams if you invest like a thousand dollars you can get like $25,000 in school grants. That's impossible, man. That's impossible. If it's not coming directly from FAFSA, don't mess with it. You know, if it's not directly coming from a government agency that's legitimate, that's directed to your college, do not mess with it. It's a lot of, listen, man, scamming is on is at an all-time high, especially on YouTube. You know, they got these commercials on YouTube talking about something. Oh, you could buy a house for $10 and flip it and gain back $30,000. I'm like, who from the fall for that? Not me. <laughs> and they'll be right in your face on an ad or commercial telling you all this lies right in your face, man. These narcissists out here, man, they want ill-gotten gains. That means they want quick money overnight. But let's, let me tell you one thing about quick money overnight. It never lasts. You cannot fall back on it. Because the universe is always watching. The universe is always watching, man. So somebody tries to do something out of you know wickedness deceit treachery like the narcissist right the narcissist future fate some of y'all invested money in the narcissist y'all believe in the narcissist um business model you know hey yeah uh, if you invest in me uh you know i'll take the money and invest it in this i mean i i know some of y'all heard that before you know so what i'm telling you all is these narcissists out here they just want quick handouts they want it fast. That's why they seem to get everything fast. Because they scam and deceit just to get it. You know? 
a lot of times, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of times, the reason why narcissists have kids before most people is because they have to deceive their victims into impregnating them or getting pregnant by the victim. They had that baby out of deception. It wasn't genuine love. You know, a lot of times narcissists use a baby to uh, have a support system, an anchor, pretty much. So you be stuck with that narcissist for more than 18 years. 18 years is a long time. And you have to deal with the fact that your child is getting involved with a serpent that you all had a child with. I feel sorry for those who have children with a narcissist, man. Because that narcissist more likely had a baby with you out of deception through trickery. Okay? But like I said before, ill-gotten gains, right? Ill-gotten gains is not achieved uh, in, a, in a positive way. All right? It's an unrighteous way of, of earning rewards. I, I don't know about you, but I feel good when I earn what I worked hard for. And I didn't cheat for it. I didn't steal for it. I got it through the mud. I grind all the way to the top just to get it. That's what makes it more beautiful, in my opinion. The universe rewards those who actually grind in a righteous manner. See, the narcissists, they want to deceive. They want to lie. They want to trick. They're tricksters, carn artists bullies manipulators they do all this just to finesse you you know just to you know get a quick come up a lot of times when a narcissist get a large lump sum let's say they get the income taxes right that money goes by like this why you think a lot of these narcissists they get the money they go buy some like crazy rims some crazy jewelry you know some a whole bunch of clothes you mean some you waste four thousand dollars on a bunch of clothes and shoes well, shit, I'm just trying to look fly, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to look fly. <laughs> but listen, man. The narcissist wants ill-gotten gains. Now, let's look at a few more scriptures. Let me see if I can pull some up real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, bear with me real quick. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 19. Such are the ways of everyone who is greedy for unjust gains. It takes away the life of its possessors. So when somebody does ill-gotten gains and they, and they take something, there's no life behind that. You know, see, when you grind out of the mud and you work hard for what you earn, there's life behind that because it's yours. If you take something, it's dead. That's why... You know, a lot of times people, oh yeah, I stole something. But you don't feel happy that, not that you stole it, but do you feel happy though? You know what I'm saying? It's dead. All right. Here's another one. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to read a few sentences of it. Micah chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. But I'm going to read uh, 1 to 2. Woe to those who devise wickedness and work evil on their beds. When the morning dawns, they perform it, because it is in the power of their hand. They covet fields and seize them, and houses, and take them away. They oppress a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. So basically, you know, for example, uh, people that break into houses and rob people at gunpoint, that's ill-gotten gains. You know, there's people out here that had the, I know some of y'all in my community, y'all had your house robbed before. I know how that crap feels. I had my house robbed before too. I mean, they took a lot of stuff too. They didn't took the laptop. They didn't took the TV. Shoot, they even took food out the damn refrigerator. Motherfuckers broke in my damn house. <laughs> you know, it's funny when I think back at it, but that's ill-gotten gains. What did they gain from that? You know what I'm saying? The universe is always watching, man. I guarantee you those people that broke into your house or broke into our houses, they didn't gain anything from that, whatever they got. See, I came from an era where niggas would break in your house, steal your flash screen TV, and pawn it at a pawn shop for a quick $150 just so they can buy weed and use the weed money to re-up and, you know, sell the weed, re-up. You know, ill-gotten gains, man. Whether you're a drug dealer, a thief, a liar, manipulator, all that stuff is ill-gotten gains. At the end of the day, it's not profitable, you know? I know a lot of drug dealers, they go out here, they serve, 
and you know they waste the money on bs a bunch of bs new clothes new this new that but they ain't got nothing to show for it no drug dealer or 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 thief or scammer has nothing to show in uh in their lives for all the for all the trickery that they done they always end up right back at square one like they start back at the basic level where they have to grind back up it's like a repeated cycle they steal they lie they serve they gain, then they lose. Now they gotta do it all over again. And in the process of it, you know, the police can get involved. You know, law enforcement can get involved. The courts gonna get involved. You know what I'm saying? You we're not here to lie, trick, steal for gains. That's not what that does not work, man. If you want something, you grind for it legitimately. You earned that. You understand? So, you know, like I said. That's what narcissists do. The narcissist wants ill-gotten gains, all right? They want to lie, cheat, steal, serve the community in a, in a non-positive way just to have it. And it does not get them far. I learned this early on in an early age, you know, that it doesn't matter how much you sell, how much you do, you'll never gain anything from being a thief, a liar, a manipulator, or a drug dealer. You just, you're not going to get anything from that, all right? So me, I'd rather do my stuff all legitimate, okay? I, I, I try to stay legit and clean as possible. That's just how I roll, all right? So this is Times with the Narcissist Explain. I hope you like the message, all right? Thank you all for coming through, all right? And listen, I love y'all. And the narcissists want ill-gotten gains, man. They want it handed to them overnight. But when you grind years on end just to get the way you want to be, you earned that. That's your reward, okay? You, you worked hard for that, and you earned that the legal way, the righteous way. All right? So I love y'all. Y'all be safe, and y'all tune in for more. All right? Bye-bye now.